going on everybody? It's your boy Jay. C's. Your ugly dude C's. Uh. Here back at it one time for top five Adidas for the month of July 2017. So um, these are some of our more favorite, no, some best of our sellers. favorites and best sellers uh, for the month of July this year. So do you want to start it off yeah. and pick one? Which so, ugly ass? We got the Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 Multicolor. So this is they dropped Saturday. Uh, today is the dropped. 12th. They actually dropped Saturday. We've had those for two, three weeks. Yeah, a few weeks now. So, yeah, this one actually looks very similar to the Chinese New Year. Yeah, to an extent, but like when you have this on foot, it's a little bit louder. It's a really nice looking color, uh, or really nice looking shoe. Very well done. So, what do we got next? Um, next one's gonna be uh, El Overkill. I mean, I'm a sucker for 9317 uh, EQTs. I actually have the OG pair on today. Um, I'm tired of saying really dope. So I like these. I like these a lot. They're comfortable. They sell uh, 325 a pair. 325 a pair. Yeah, so. You should come by and pick a pair of these up because you don't have them and they're comfortable and they're not that bad yeah, as far as price point. <laughs> so that's number four. Alright. Number three. That's two. Okay. Or, yeah, sorry, two. My bad, I don't know how to count. I'm still half old. asleep. Alright, next up is another EQT. This is the White Mountaineering. So this is a collab they did a couple months back. So the reason, the reason I like this one is because of the premium material. So it's got the nice... What is that suede but it's like full suede yeah it's like full it's suede. suede so it's nice another comfortable shoe this has been a best seller since, since yeah they're rock, getting harder so. to find too like we're we're running low on those these go for 375 ish something yeah, like that something like that so that's three and then four is gonna be el miami ultra boost a size eight I picked this one up in London when we were out there a couple, well, it's been a month now, right? About a month since I went to London. Um, I we've mean, had a couple of those too. we've had a couple of these. We haven't had many in this size. This is the only one we've had in this size. This is like $2,000 under market value. It's listed at $3,000 racks, like Kais would say. Racks. Um, and, um,. It's funny, when we first had these, we had them for 800 bucks. They sat. I don't mm. remember that. You remember are that? you are you making shit yeah. up right now? They sat for 800 bucks and like now. I don't remember that. You hardly get When them was in. that? That was a couple months ago, bro. A couple months ago? I, I've had my pair for a couple months yeah. now. It was around that time. No. Yeah, it was. No. I, and it was my size? I don't know if it was your size, but we had I it. I think you're fucking making no, shit up. Man. I believe he's making shit up yeah. for the channel, bro. Don't fucking listen I'll to this guy. It. He's I'll giving a lot of gas. Right. So that's number four, fucking eight hundred dollars for Miami Ultra Boost when they go for three <laughs> to five racks. So oh, last, dude. number five. This is the Pharrell NMD Human Race Friends and Family Burgundy color. Maroon. It's maroon. 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 So we actually got two of these. What size is this? this is a ten and a ten half. Ten and a half and twelve. We have both of them 12. are listed at eighty five hundred. So. Everybody else that has pairs is listed at ten grand. You could either a pay to win them. I mean, pay to buy them, or b go to the heat locker, put five bucks, and maybe win a pair. <laughs> ten and a half for size twelve. I now stuff like this. It's it's harder to find. You don't see every day. Uh, you know, unless it's like on Joni's feet. Right. Ton or, of fakes too. Yeah, there's a Ton lot of fakes. fakes. Um, Unfortunately, I, I mean, I've been, I've read some comments. Blake got got with one lender. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure the shop that he bought him from made that wrong right, right? But uh, it's really easy to get caught up um, with fakes, and that's kind of what also determines market, right? Is right. is being able to say, hey, this is a one. But top five for the July, for the month of July. 2017 on another note i'll be in oklahoma this weekend sunday it's gonna be somewhat lit there i'm pretty no actually it's gonna be lit there i'm i'm gonna bringing be merch. there and we're so, bringing merch and that's like the hottest merch that's there like oklahoma sooner inspired um 
Actually, hold on. I want to bring something up. Hold on. Stay right there. Keep recording. See, stay on you for the camera, bro. Cut that out. Cut that out, Charlie. So I got this <clears throat> letter. All right, I want to bring this up. Oh, off. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because Oklahoma, and a lot of my videos, like, I don't, I don't really, like, say, okay, well, I'm going to script this out. I'm, like, no huddle offense. Always, right? One take. So I got this letter, and I'm probably gonna butcher this kid's name or guy's name, but Mylin, Millen, Milen, Mylin, M Y L I N. So he hits me up, all right? He sees the merch. I've been posting the merch for Oklahoma for a minute, like, a like about. Yeah. And he hits me, and he's like, giving me this reason as to why I shouldn't do Oklahoma sooner themed merch and that it should be Oklahoma State themed merch right. and he like gives me this analogy tells me how he knows I'm a huge Mets fan and blah 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 and 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 just I thought it was super fucking dope that he gave me an Oklahoma su State fucking Robin Ventura shirt now I know this is before you started shitting your diapers but Robin Ventura used to play for the White Sox and the Mets and he was a stud third baseman he actually uh, was, a, was a pretty good baseball player, and that story is really dope, and I hope that this kid is at Kicklahoma, because I'd love to meet him and say thank you for giving me this awesome shirt that feels really nice, and they're colors, that I, they're colors I would wear. Um, but uh, nonetheless, I'm excited to be in Oklahoma this weekend. Kicklahoma gonna be judging I'm like doing an on-foot judging contest like I'm like they're gonna listen to me for like no that one's better than that it's kind of random but dope I'm excited man it's an experience get to hang out with you guys uh you got anything you want to tell the com camera with your ugly ass or uh I'm excited for LA oh that's right yo so C LA. Th this is the first time C's is actually gonna be allowed in public for greater than what it takes him to get to work. Um, yeah, so C's is gonna be with us in LA. He is going to be running our consignment booth and our buyback booth, right? It's gonna be the first time at a sneaker event that you're gonna be able to consign pairs with the consignment shop at an event. And it's like the biggest event of right. the year. We're gonna need a big car. We're gonna Truck. need, we're probably gonna need like a, like something, like a trailer. I'm expecting to have to, I, I'm going to take some money out there. I, I, I don't know how much yet, but I'm going to, I'm going to crack gonna your piggy back. bank open. We're gonna come back. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, I think we're going to go there with a couple coins. But anyways, I'm going to quit yapping top five. Thank you, Marlon, Millen. I'm sorry for butchering Milan. your name. Milan, this shirt is dope. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Love.